What is going on guys? I'm Consumer Tech Review and today I'm going to be doing a used phone review of the Galaxy Note 9 and answering the question of is it still good in 2021? Now let's get right into it. I bought a couple phones brand new but after that I realized that it's so much cheaper and you don't really get that much more buying new so I've just been buying used for the past years. But a big problem is where are you supposed to get a used phone that is like not going to rip you off? I got this one from Amazon Renewed. It's basically Amazon's refurbished phones. It's very very cool and it's super easy to buy and they've got a great return policy and customer service. And it will have Amazon links to the renewed Note 9 down below. So now that you know the best place to buy your used phone, let's talk about the actual pros of this thing. Number one is the screen. Even by today's standards, and the phone market is continuously changing very quickly, even by today's standards, the screen is still gorgeous and still better than so many screens on the market. This thing is obviously an OLED, so pitch black blacks where the screen's not even on. It's amazing. This thing has a crazy good brightness, especially for the time, uh, and it holds up today at 1,050 nits, which is a lot. To give you an idea, the iPhone 12 Pro today only goes up to 1200 nits, which is only 150 nits more, which may sound like a lot, but as it gets brighter and brighter, it doesn't make that big of a difference. This phone is very easy to see in direct sunlight. You're not gonna have a problem using it outside uh, while you're in the car, maybe with Google Maps and the sun's hitting it not gonna have a problem with it. It's holding up extremely well. Moving on to the next pro, that is the performance and battery life. Now, as a Note series, which is the reason I think all of the Note lines are some of the best used phones to buy, is because when they come out with the Galaxy, if you're not familiar with it, they'll come out with the flagship Galaxies, and those are really fast, really premium phones. Then the Note series is a step above them. It's a bigger phone, it's got more of everything, it's faster, it has more RAM, it usually has a bigger battery. So basically you're getting that future proofing that when people buy them, they're extremely expensive, but buying them on a used market is sometimes where you get the best value and bang for your buck. This thing is still super fast today, which most iPhone owners cannot say. Uh, as well, the battery is huge, even by today's standards, at 4,000 milliamp hours, which is a lot. In fact, the Galaxy S21 has the same size as this Note. Now, in my experience, you don't really have to worry about your battery life, and I use my phone all the time, like ridiculously all the time. It's, it's a problem. I'm constantly on it, I'm on it in the morning, and I pretty much charge it only at night. So I'll charge it overnight and then I'll wake up, and that's pretty much the only time I charge it. So it's pretty much a all day battery. Moving on to the next pro, that is gonna be the design. This thing held up very, very well over time, which is crazy because the phone market is ever changing and going in new trends and design styles. Now the hole punch is the big thing. However, that being said, the bezels on this thing are not big at all, and you don't feel like you're using an old phone. And I'd be willing to argue that with the hole punch, you're actually getting less usable space than with this. I prefer this. I wish the phone industry would have kept this. However, that's not what they did, but this thing does not feel dated. The bezels are still super, super small. And as well as that, you also do get the wraparound edge display, which I really, really like, which they're actually not doing on the S21, uh, really, not really doing it. It's more of a flat display, which you can say what you want about it. I prefer it. I think it looks futuristic and really cool. And as well, you obviously do get the stylus, which is pretty sick. You can take pictures with it and obviously draw and stuff like that. Now, moving on to security, you can use your fingerprint, iris tracking, and facial recognition. You can also have the iris and facial recognition switch between whatever it can find. Now, I will say the fingerprint reader is super fast, even right now while I'm using this, even with it being used, and I've used it for quite a while, a couple months now. The fingerprint reader is super, super fast. It has not slowed one bit. But I will say the irises and the facial recognition doesn't always work quickly every time and that's not just because it's used from the start when it came out it didn't really uh, ever work that well that's not really what it was meant for it was really meant for the fingerprint sensor uh, however I just leave it on because sometimes it'll work and it opens my phone so it's not a big deal but the security is nice I do prefer fingerprint sensors like this instead of the in display ones with the uh, sound waves I don't know I just like putting my finger back here and it's open but maybe that's just me moving on to the cameras the cameras are still really really good you have two rear facing cameras both 12 megapixel one tele photo and one wide angle, uh, which is really nice to have. And that holds up well over time. Now you got to remember, this is the Note series. So you are getting those two cameras as well as the front facing camera, which is an eight megapixel
megapixel camera, but it takes really nice pictures. It's got good HDR, really good clarity, and you can do a 10X zoom. Uh, that's not optical, but you can do it. Video is also quite good. It can record 4K at 60 FPS. And yes, it's not doing 8K, but honestly, ask yourself how many times you've even used 4K and legitimately needed it. Most people are barely even gonna use 1080p unless you're like vlogging with it. And even so, up until the last video I just made, making all these videos which people tell me look professional, I was only shooting 1080p. I don't know why, because my camera can do 4K. I guess, I don't, I don't, I don't know why I was not shooting 4K. But guys, overall, I do think that the Note 9 is super, super good, especially in 2021. You get a seriously amazing, very flagship phone for not very much money, and it holds up extremely well. Now, if you guys do wanna go pick it up, again, I really recommend Amazon Renewed. I will have those Amazon links below if you do wanna go pick one up for yourself. But if you're looking to save some money, I absolutely never buy new phones anymore. Get yourself a Note 9. It's probably the best used phone on the market. But if you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, help me out and throw a like below. And if you enjoy these kind of tech reviews, phone reviews, I don't know if I'm gonna do more phone reviews. Tell me guys what you think. Uh, we'll see how this video does. I know most of my subscribers probably won't watch this video because they're like, why are you reviewing phones? But I had to. I'm a tech reviewer. I do monitors. I love screens. I know a lot about them. Uh, so I had to do some phones. Um, but I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I don't know if I'm going to do more of these or not. So I guess we'll see how this does and then go from there. But uh, tell me guys what you think in the comment section below and like it if you did enjoy it. I already said that. This was Consumer Tech Review. I'll see you guys later.